Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Episode 78 of the 9 to 5 Fitness Podcast. We've got a big one today as per usual. Gab, how are you? How did you sleep? Um, Slept not enough mm. quantity and oh, just feeling gas to be honest, mate. Body feels like I've been hit by some sort of truck, I'd say. I'm cooked. Yeah, you are? Same. Yeah. Brutal. I, yeah, we had a beer last night. A singular solitary beer solitary beer and we we're in pain um we're also joined by a brother of the podcast um the biggest dickhead known to man prime train the train dog the train mate how are you how did you sleep big fella great question uh i slept uh yeah pretty well i've been um up at 5 a.m motivated by you lately we feel which has been so good i've been up at 458 oh I'm 457. See, by the, <laughs> mate, by you're the time you're up, bro. Bro, I've already walked the you've dog. You've already had eaten a all the worms, bro. <laughs> the early bird can't get any worms. All There's none the left worms. for me. Oh, oh, you're a dog. Oh, yeah. my Wait, God. Where, where are you staying while you're here? I'm in the Novotel, Grand Central, Melbourne. Good, good um, beds. Oh, beautiful beds. Yeah. Speaking to that. Do you want me to speak yeah, nah, closer? Right. You can just pull it around wherever. Oh, yeah, yeah, enjoying. Yeah. Are they good beds? Good mattresses? Good beds. Weather's cold. Um, You know how it is. I love coming here. Good vibes, good friends, as you say mm. i think anabolic um but mm. yeah I, I love being around you boys as you said we had a couple of or a singular beer last night out for dinner which was lovely and mm. yeah the potential to um for, mm. for some future beers oh here we yeah. go Ooh. exciting Ooh. i'm excited um <laughs> mate you pack it in so much when you're here mm. like what's your schedule looking like yeah mate it's been crazy i've got a lot on i've got stuff obviously like sumo strength um so i'm doing some like photo shoots mm. them obviously got potties with you guys i've got meetings with a lot of different football teams which is really really exciting for mm. potentially moving down here next year and playing some footy which, we'll delve into. which we will delve yeah, into the, swans. the yeah. sydney swans yeah they've yeah. been all over me contract talks i'm like swans just let me finish my season with the noosa tigers yeah <laughs> and they yeah. just One they don't yeah bloody hell like Quaffled AFL, probably not. Um, but yeah, <laughs> anyway, so working on that. And then I've, I've got a new manager as well. So um, we're doing like a big release for that um, very soon, which is exciting. Mm, so on. exciting, mate. You're killing it. A manager would be nice. But not for you? Yeah. No, it was, depends. Dep- I think it depends who the manager is, who the yep. network is. Like yep. it can definitely be beneficial. But mm. yeah, I think we're doing a pretty good job at the moment. Yeah. Like I, what I find is there's a lot of people who are like, smaller than us in terms of market power in terms of influence but they've got man you like you'll see some chick who like twerks on tiktok and she's got two thousand followers and it says i would like, never follow that and like it, that. no no, no yeah, and but <laughs> but the first <laughs> all of his the first thing in the, wait, wait, <laughs> the first thing in the bio is like talent at blah it's like bro mm. what what yeah. first of all what talent what talent do you second have second of all you got like two thousand i don't get it <laughs> <laughs> no, I understand that. But everyone does have talent, I guess, on the inside. You yeah. just have to see it. Where but is the talent is what some would say. Mm, yeah, it's in the like, heart usually. Mm. Bro, you're getting like $200 to do a Subway ad or some shit. Like, why does Dude, that I had Doritos manager? contact me the other day and they're like, oh, do you want to do like an ad for Doritos? I'm like, fuck no, dude. Like, yeah, it's not quite. It just doesn't align with my brand whatsoever. Yeah, so but if they're the paying fuck? 10 bands and it does yeah, align oh, with your see, brand. See, I'm, <laughs> I'm not as swayed by the money. I'm just like, oh, mate, uh, like shut oh. up. I, I just, <laughs> mate, I, I only care about my fans out there. Like, I only mate, really you're not care. Getting any new followers from our podcast. <laughs> right? so, they're, they're the I only really care about my fans, bro. <laughs> I only care about bringing them the greatest content possible. So I wouldn't do a Dorito sponsorship. It's just not for them. Um, you know, number one fans. Yeah, your training heaps at the moment. Are you doing two sessions a day? Yeah, two what workouts does that a day. Look like, and why shouldn't you do that? Uh, why shouldn't I, <laughs> mm, mate? Just take one look at me. Look at him. <laughs> Shred it to the, the tits. tits. <laughs> <laughs> well, your first workout's like star jumps, three times thirty, isn't it? And then your second one, you do. Like a hop, skip, and a jump, and then a <laughs> yeah, twisty. My and then- yeah, my first workout's mobility. <laughs> my second one. Nah, so yeah, I've I've upped the um up the training. I think that I watch a lot of like Kobe Bryant and like Michael Jordan and see how hard those blokes work. I'm yeah. like, why can't I like do more than a workout a day? Why don't I start doing two workouts? Mm. And it also forces me to get up earlier and like start the day with doing something that like. You don't like you don't actually really want to work out all the time. Oh, no way. Yeah. Like you don't go into the gym, yeah, you yeah. don't go into the gym and want yeah. to work out every single time, but it's a way for me to get up in the morning and say, "Oh my god, I have to work out. I have to do something that I don't want to do." And then all day like uh, I'm just way more focused, laser focused for the rest of the day, yeah. I think, cuz I'm doing starting the day with something I don't cement. want to do. 100 yeah. cement, bro. <laughs> I love the um recent stories or TikToks you made about mm. um like 
you know, your average person doesn't need a bloody rest week or like a, you know, yeah. the full deload week and mm. stuff. Like you're not working hard enough. That's yeah. so true. Bro, you don't train that hard. Like, I'm sorry. Like there's some people that train really, really hard that, that do deserve, like you have a structured program and a yeah. like has a structured program. Yeah. I'm sure you do as well, where you, you know, you work up to your, you know, your different phases, yeah, your different yeah, yeah. cycles, yeah. right? Yeah. And then you, you, you do deserve a, a deload, but there's a lot of people out there that don't deserve the deload because they actually do like three workouts a week and then oh, I'll just have a rest this week. You yeah, can't work too hard for this one, bro. Otherwise, yeah. like, oh, that, that one's RP oh, no. seven. I should have been at six, you know? <laughs> That's a yeah. bit like that thing. I reckon almost the more knowledge you have sometimes, oh, like the more... Like it, the, the worse it is for you. Oh, like yes, if I didn't that know, isn't optimal, mm, bro. Yeah, like, that's mm. not optimal. Or like, oh, I need to have at least eight hours sleep. Otherwise, I'm dead for the next day. It's right? like before I knew about sleep, like I probably wouldn't have known the difference between five hours and eight hours sleep. Like I wouldn't have felt the difference. The, the thing is that everybody's different. Like you can do all the studies in the fucking world that you want to do. Yeah. But like what you prefer and what I prefer are two completely yeah. different things, right? Like, like it just, you can't, Put a measurable thing on like how M- movement a2 in my micro meso cycle part one <laughs> <laughs> it's like bro you look like a lawn chair <laughs> like, <laughs> and then and then all the skinny ones all the- <laughs> yeah i remember like i was arnold pressing like 30 kilos or something which is like a good way to Pretty arnold press and all these people were tearing me apart like <laughs> saying how bad the arnold press is <laughs> and like you click on their profiles and they got like 33 followers and like <laughs> They're looking like camsthenics and <laughs> like, I like, I don't want to ro- roast you, but it's just like, bro, like, I understand you may have seen like some sort of video saying it's not optimal, mm. but bro, like, I don't know. Bro, I tell you what, it's better than doing nothing, sitting at home and doing fuck all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a lot better than doing that. It's a lot better than typing with your stupid little fucking fingers yeah. saying, oh, yeah, this is not optimal. It's a whole yeah. lot more optimal than typing with your fingers, watching someone on TikTok <laughs> and trying to tear them down. Yeah, you bloody idiots. You idiots. But yeah. Yeah. So yeah, some people yeah, some people flog. Nah, man. it's it's all part of it. Uh footy, how's how's that going? Yeah, for footy's you? going well, man. Uh loving it. We just made the finals. Very exciting. I've I get pushed around sometimes by some teams and on yeah. the weekend, the most recent game that I played, I and for the rest of the season, I instead of being on the back foot and being targeted, I thought, why don't I just start targeting Instigating. their whole team? <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna start targeting them and fuck with their mind uh, yeah, a lot rent more. Free. Yeah, so I'm like instead of them coming after me, I'm going to come after them. And then that kind of changes my perspective a little bit and makes me a little bit more aggressive, which I really enjoy. What, what was the response like after the game? Were they chill or were they still salty? The opposition? Yeah. Or... <laughs> salty. Well, yeah. If you yeah, have to think I about saw it, what- that means they're salty. <laughs> yeah, it means they went too happy. So, like, what I, used to, what I was doing during the game is I was anyone that came to line up on me, I would just say, mate, there's no attribute that you have that is better than any attributes that I have. <laughs> Instantly, their face is like, fuck, probably right. <laughs> <laughs> they don't say anything, but I can see the cogs in their head starting to turn. And um, after the game, like some of the boys, some of the opposition boys came out with us, went to the surf club and they're like, bro, I just wanted to bash the shit out of you. Today. <laughs> like, I hate you it's so weird, much. But then like after the game, everyone's friends, like it's not really a big thing, but it was a must win game for us. And I've got that like little bit of winner's mentality. I'll do whatever it takes to win sometimes. So mm. if it means tearing someone down and okay. bullying the shit out of them it, on the field. It's crazy how like um, I saw like your YouTube has been doing super well. It's been really inspiring for me. Mm. Uh, but like you had a bye week last week and it's just like amazing how like the YouTube algorithm, like mm. as soon as you don't post football vlog around whatever, the algorithm, like your videos still did well. No, but, not well at all. But compared. like not by your standards, yeah, but obviously by normal people's standards, it right? did well. But like, yeah. and even for me, like I've done a few vlogs now. It's like the algo just pushes it out so hard. Like your most recent footy APS one. Yeah. Ballistic, right? Yeah. And that was a really good vlog though. I did watch it. It mm. was fantastically produced. It was really good. And you've got all the all the kit and caboodle as oh, well going you. on, yeah. um, which is fantastic. But I think that, yeah, I think that the most important thing, I, I think you said to me that, um, you know, like your, like I don't have that good of a setup with my camera. Like it's mm. not a fantastic camera. I don't have any like road mics or anything, but like the most important thing to get right first is your content. Oh, the and idea. Then, yeah, and yeah. And then like, and then work on upgrade. Like this is for other people that are trying to start, right? Yeah. Like don't go out and freaking buy all the greatest mics or and all the greatest mm. podcast stuff, all the greatest video stuff. Get your content right first yeah. and then you can start producing and upgrading that sort of stuff. I think for me, uh, I'm sure you're finding it too, but every video you produce is better than the last one. Mm. And it's like, 
my videos are still shit to be honest but it's like in a hundred videos time they'll be so much better than where i started and it's like this process so i think there's a lot of kids it, especially in Australia, like there's a lot of kids who would be scared to start posting content because yeah. their mate's going to judge them. But like, stop putting it off and delaying it because the earlier you start, the better. Like my content at the moment is still so bad by like my own standards. I mm. want to keep improving. But like the thing is, by the time you post your 500th TikTok, it's probably a whole lot, apart from like some people who just just don't have it a flop. <laughs> yeah yeah um like it'll be so much better than where you started like <laughs> who my, like who yeah go oh, on, name names. can you give an example no nah, i'm not naming names <laughs> i don't want to i don't want the smoke to be honest um but like that's what i'm saying especially for me when i went over to like alpha land it was super inspiring to see like or not even inspiring it just gave me like ideas it's like I thought I was weird in the gym here with a tripod trying to film and mm. make a bit of content, speaking in public, all that. But it's like you go over to Alpha Land and every second person has a videographer following them around with an A7 and they got a Rode wireless go. Mm. It's like you're on the right track. It's just because it's so far in here and keep trying, keep trying things and like you'll get it so much better mm. um, for the like the content will just improve. Algo will push it out, that kind of thing. It's been so good coming back it's funny because i come obviously every month or every two months and i can see the differences in how both of you have changed like you yeah. probably see the same in me yeah 100%. and i can see gab and you right now have this like little spark in your eye and and with what you're saying as well like i can mm. tell that you guys have got that new laser focus i think with with your content especially I, since your america trip i don't even like care i've, I've cared well i've started caring less about tiktok to be honest same because it's not making you any money and but i feel like tiktok followers are meaningless I, okay all but my like, followers that are tiktok followers i love you guys you yeah guys that's best. not what I, that's not what i mean though that's not what i mean no, but it's no, like but i agree like they're, they're, I, I understand what you're saying like one youtube follow subscriber is probably worth a hundred tiktok followers to be mm. honest like that's just facts and it's you see people with like hundreds of thousands of tiktok followers that have literally like no actual influence no yeah no pool. zero pool yeah mm. um i think one of the best metrics to like see an influence is or like a someone's social media's pool is like their bank account. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, oh, yeah. sorry, well. sorry, sorry. Do you, do you want to have yeah, another okay. guess? Have another guess. Instagram story views. Yeah, yeah, but not what I was going to say. Okay. No, I was gonna say that yeah. Well, well, uh, well, for me, I uh, I reckon it could be like inorganic reach. Or sorry, organic reach. Like that. You. I was going to say Instagram. Snapchat subscribers. Okay. Because that's like your real cult following. Yep. Like, it's that's you say a lot of influencers who have like big followings but mm. they can't get over that 5k on snapchat because no one actually fucks with them that hard yeah whereas like you me you're getting up there as well mm. like have those core fans who are like bro i want to know everything this guy posts yep. like i'm gonna go on snapchat and manually type his name in and add him a thing about yeah. that which i'm learning as a as a kind of slower creator is like I always think that my life is not that interesting. And then you're mm. like, mate, literally getting in the car and doing something is interesting Bro, to literally, people. Literally, that's what- and, yeah. And yeah, yeah, Gab's really good at filming those little intricate things in your life. Because, yeah. But I'm like, fuck, no one wants to see this. But in actual fact, they do. Mm. I, well, I grew up my whole life, like not really watching people do vlogs or like, yeah. I, I couldn't care less about what other people were doing. So it was such a surprise for me when people actually cared about like my game day vlogs and stuff. Cause I was mm. like, bro, like, you know, like I played VFL, but like, I'm not, I don't play in the AFL, you know, I'm not at the top of my game, you know, at the top of the game of, of footy. So I'm, I was very surprised that people were so yeah. invested, right? Because it's like, you know, there's other, like Mitch Robinson does does it in the AFL. So it's like, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's a weird thing, but it's so humbling and so amazing. It's pretty crazy that your vlogs are doing better than the, AFL players' yeah, vlogs. Yeah. Like, mm. And I think a lot of that is to do with like, as you said, your life's not that interesting, but it's how you portray it and it's your energy on the screen. It's like, mm -hmm. so... I'm still pretty like when I was traveling in Thai, but I'm getting better at like being excited and smiling on camera and looking at the lens straight on the mm -hmm. like little tips and things like that. Make it. I've a whole got a good better. side of my face, so I like to stay at one side. Mm. Of the yeah, <laughs> none of the, oh, he's good side, bad side. I'm on the good side at the moment, actually. So I'm glad <laughs> you guys put me on the good side. Yeah, always, yeah. mate. Looking after you. So That's I think handy. it's just about like the energy you bring to the screen, which can make a boring moment interesting. Mm. Uh, and then obviously you go things like good pace, good framing, like just having a good editor. Like my editor, I've worked through like a few who, no, I won't say anything, but like I've got a really good one now. Um, and also another guy we're bringing onto the team. But like, I think once you get a good editor and a good style, it's just like makes everything so much easier. Yep. So like that, AF, the APS game, it's like a really streamlined system. I went there, filmed it. 
I did what so I did what you did you know how because you know the game the best like you know which parts you want in it your yep. videographer slash editor doesn't know it that well yep. so like after the game you would go spend two hours going through everything and just assembling the whole game yep. so I did that for the APS game and sent it all to my editor he doesn't know anything about footy and I just told him everything to do <laughs> mm. and he did it and it was pretty damn good so that's the way to go about it I think that sometimes there's a disconnect between you and your editor and sometimes you just have to kind mm. of take the a little bit of time to kind of go through and do yeah and, and time code is what i do and then kind of send it off to my editor and then she'll do some amazing edits and some, she'll give me some good tiktoks and she'll give me some good reels and then you can kind of use that can you just go create new sequence slack like, which is pretty easy to do yeah on adobe yeah. premiere and then you can kind of just create the same thing in a different format or a different um frame size which is a pretty are you running with it. a macbook or do you have a normal laptop? no i'm running with an asos yeah how do you rate it um, like three out of ten. I reckon. Obviously, because so what I want, I need to get a Mac because I've got Apple Watch, I got Apple Phone. I just need to like Apple. Yeah. My life. Sorry if this isn't including that much to you, but I think the YouTube Don't thing is so me. interesting. Mm. Um, but like now that you are making a bit of money from YouTube monetization, I reckon bucks a video. Twenty two hundred. Twenty bucks. Twenty. No, yeah. Shut up, bro. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um, <Give me> money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shut a up. bit of money maybe for Gab, not for me. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't your car decline at dinner last night? Mate? <laughs> we went for dinner last night and my car declined. It was, I tried to myself a wage for the week. I already spent it all. I had to call up, yeah. had to call up my business owner. I said, mate, can you transfer me some money? My own phone rang. I was like, what's going on here? Um, but what <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> you should get yourself one of the new MacBooks mm. because they're so like... My videographer was working on it and it's like it handles stuff better than a custom built PC, like yep. than a three thousand dollar PC. Yeah, Did it which, render which real we're quick? learning the hard way. Like, Bro, it's it like it can do anything. I got mm. it like pretty specced out and my mate worked for Apple, so he got me the staff price for it. Yeah. Um and it's the thing is it's got an S D card in it, so it's like you can just put it straight in. The display is the same as your phone, so like mm. it looks like what's on the phone and you can just airdrop it straight away to your phone. Bro, it's like I can just bring that in my car, film the game and just airdrop it all. It's like the battle station. It's so that streamlined. That is insane. I was yeah. seeing that guy in America that just SD carded it into yeah, his yeah. phone. Yeah, but you don't really... If you do it for video, I'm pretty sure like your phone so, can't handle that high quality. Like if it's 4K, 60 yeah. frames per second. If it's a Pro Max, would it still be the same or... I think so. I think it's just for photos it's handy for because yeah. it's such big file sizes for videos. Oh, it's massive. like... Yeah. I've got a terabyte on this freaking beast as well. Really? Yeah, this is a baller of a phone. I, I got the two fifty six gig, so mm, not as nice baller. work peasant. Yeah. <laughs> How what what model's that? Uh that's a thirteen Pro Max. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you need to get a new phone. Yeah, that's on you? the agenda. Mm, yeah. Definitely. Phone not. And oh, yours you still got three cameras though. Yeah, so, right. It's the eleven. Is that so the eleven? Slow. Yeah. I had a 10 before and it was like, it ran out. Do you, I don't know if you remember, but like yeah. it ran out of battery within like the first yeah, second. I, yeah. I think I still have your charger, by the way. I swear <laughs> iPhones are made to break after <laughs> two years. Yeah. They, Even okay. less, to be honest, like a year and a half. I mean, you do take yours into the sauna, so. <laughs> no, for legal purposes, we don't oh, say no, that. Don't. I, yeah. bring a, I bring a, my burner phone in yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's. I thought that's what you did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thought that's what you yeah, did. my Nokia. Um, uh, game day vlogs. How have they been like received? I know the footy community can be a little bit toxic. Give well, us I'm some. Go to the toilet. Yeah, you, you guys chat for a bit. And cool. when you get back, can you restart the cameras? Yeah. Um, Mate, yeah. Yeah, how have they been received? Oh, incredible, man! I've been so grateful. I don't know if you know. Do you know that big footy forum? Have you seen that? No. Nah. It's like this footy forum. I th it's mostly old blokes that freaking comment on it, but there's a lot of people that have been saying. Oh, I think I saw you post. Yeah, that. I post something about it, and it was like, oh, you know. This guy documents what he's doing and my son started watching it and I thought, oh, he's a bit off himself at the start. Mm. And then the more that I've watched, the more I've really enjoyed it and seen what his message is. So it's it's really cool to start to get not just kids, but like their parents watching it as well. And because mm. I'm trying to spread the right the right message and the right thing, um, trying to educate kids because like I always say, the AFL media don't really educate kids on how to play footy. It's just no. about like even getting a high tackle bro like yeah we don't care about that sort of stuff you know we want especially if you're like kids. what did you get when you were growing up you know like like not a lot of afl kind of education yeah well i mean i was saying to you like if, if i saw the content you're uploading when i was you know 14 15 16 i would have just eaten it up and yeah. also the programs you're making as well i would have bought them up yeah because like everyone's trying to get that edge extra and, edge yeah, right and and you're providing that or you know people are providing that now mm. which is really important what about from like a like the micro environment at noosa tigers have, that sounds like they've really kind of oh. taken it on board and they're a good club mate they've been incredible and and 
is something that I'm really going to miss because I I think that I might be moving states next year. I'm not sure where where I'm going to go, but <clears throat> I don't think I'll be. Uh, I, I might be a Noosa, but I'm not sure yet. Yep. But yeah, I think that it's a it's a really exciting um, thing. I guess having that. F- I grew up in a country country town, so having that country footy kind of thing back is really exciting. Like you get all the all the people that have been there for a hundred years, kind of thing. Yep. Yeah, and they just come and 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 watch the games like back in my day kind of thing. You know that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have gone very well. So, yeah, no, nah, they're they're brilliant. But then they're all you know it's a new world that we live in. So they're all very supportive of it all. The coach is magnificent. Like it's just yeah, it's super cool. So hopefully I can keep doing it. There's a few things in the works for next year about what the game day vlogs might um, might involve. But uh, yeah, hopefully we can keep taking it to the you know to the next step and the next step and then mm. see where it goes. They're getting bigger and bigger. What about from other teams? Like, what's mm-hmm. some of the calls you're getting from the boundary and the the funniest the one is like if I haven't had a very good game or a very good start to the game, it's going to be a short game day vlog this week, <laughs> Bolchi. <laughs> it's a great call. It's going to be <laughs> two minute vlog this week, mate. <laughs> <laughs> hope there's. <laughs> I have plenty of B-roll this week, Bolchi. Yeah, it's yeah. going to be a short one. So they're the funny <laughs> ones where I always look around and I laugh and say, you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I've been shit house today. So I, I love saying that sort of stuff. Um, I love engaging with the fans as well. It's kind of fun. Like it doesn't really put me off my game that much. I'm, I kind of entire, like I, I encourage a little bit and, and get around it. So I know you get a little bit of it as well. You had yeah. a bit of it on the other day. Not nearly as much as you, but on the weekend, I reckon it was as close as do much Do you reckon the you. bloody blonde hair has something oh, to do with it? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Lock. Lock, mate. Actually, I had a player say, so he, his hairline started at like the back of his head. So he needed some finasteride or whatever it's called ASAP. And he was giving me shit about my hair. I said, you can't talk. And he was like 40. So he was like, oh, I used to have it. Oh, mate. I, I was getting called a drug cheat on the weekend as well. I was, like, I was like, why? I don't know. Like, <laughs> what's the connection? <laughs> yep. Take caffeine before a game. Drug cheat. Oh, really? It's yeah. caffeine. Um, there was a few. Yeah. I was like, bro, shut up. Like, yeah. that you're not getting, gaining anything out of that. There's a few other calls, especially on the week. Like, it's funny because there's some teams that are really nice. There's some teams that are real, like, aggressive with yeah. it and, and a bit disgusting, especially you get those, like, away teams with some of them, like, oh, just, like, in horrific the back crowds. Blocks of fucking noosa. Bro, just fucking shut up. Of course, bro. man. Oh, man. There was. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if I can say this, but. Um, <laughs> yeah, you can. Yeah, I'll say it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there was, we played one game. And it was in Noosa and there was a few older heads there that had a few beers. I don't think they're really associated with the club. I think they just come along to the games. Mm. And there was um, there was a remark made to one of the umpires. And one of the umpires left the game, middle oh, of the wow. second quarter. Just left. packed up. So we had two umpires for the rest of the game. People were calling like them from like, the other end of the field. And I was like, bro, you can't just leave the game. Like, I don't yeah. care. It's very tough enough. Come on, man. Tough the hell up. You just packed it up. Just packed it up. He said, he said blew the whistle, said, Sorry, I can't umpire anymore. I've really? just heard I've heard a remark from the crowd, so I can't umpire. And he left. Really? Was the remark like it wasn't racist? Or? Yeah, it was homophobic. Yeah. yeah, but like, I don't know, man. Packed like, it up. I mean, they don't I get mean, like, it up, look, probably. I understand. <laughs> like, I understand, but like, toughen up. Like, yeah, I mean, we need you, bro. This <laughs> the other umpires Dude, as well. Yeah, yeah that's stitched man, up. You're leaving the boys out on the field. You're Dude, leaving your other mates. Matchy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> umpire matches probably. I don't know. <laughs> How much do you reckon umpire gets paid? A kiss on the cheek and the tap on the bar. Especially. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> no, we love the umpires. No, we do. I actually said in my last vlog, I said, if anyone disrespects the umpires like during a game or like gives away a 50 for descent, I just think you're just like, you're raised wrong, bro. Like just, yeah. you don't have to argue with the umpires. Like it's so, yeah. especially now it's so outdated, I think like. I don't know. Are you much of an umpire arguer? No, nah, I'm pretty good with it. Um, but mate, we've ha- honestly we've had some calls this year where I've been oh. like, "Bro, you are paid off by the other team." Like, I don't. And then you look at it in the vision because like all our games get filmed, and it's like, yeah. that's, I don't know where you saw that. It's like <laughs> someone had to. So like, I can understand when people just go, you "Oh, are, you yeah. are kidding." No, nah, I get it. We had one on the yeah, weekend, which not was acceptable. like even worse. It was what it was is um, one of the like. <laughs> One of the opposition teams pushed one of our guys into another guy, yeah. like in the back, like after he kicked the ball, and he like he kind of like missed him, and then the two Wilston Grange blokes headbutted each other and both Ooh. knocked themselves out. Oh shit! It was a free kick to them, but they both hit each other. <laughs> Hang on a second, and we're all looking around like, <laughs> what you what pay the fuck for? Was that for? Yeah. 
<laughs> they ran into each other. How are they getting their own free kickback? We're all yeah. looking around. I started running forward and then I've been out of position. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the ball here for some reason. What's so yeah. On? Have you had any weird calls this year? They've just been like ridiculously yeah. like- Oh, plenty, mate. Just shocking. I keep getting them um, downfield. I've had a few this year. I you won. hit someone off of the ball. Yeah, but like I, I reckon I got them when they do had that, the ball. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon I had them when they had the ball, and then it's yeah. Anyway, I don't argue. It's, it's what. And the second I get a free kick, oh, I at one uh, game I just had a whole team just like pretending to take TikToks of me. They had their hands. Oh man, my <laughs> teammates do that. Blocks. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> go, on, go, on, put this on your TikTok. <laughs> my mates do that after every goal I kick. They start going like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my boy shut that. up yeah. <laughs> leave me alone nah fair click enough. click click nah it's pretty Mate, well, it's funny. exciting the um the vlogs are flying yeah nah the vlogs have been good and yeah footy's been good and like i said it's really exciting obviously swans been all over me can't get rid of them they mm. just keep sending me contract offers <laughs> like sydney swans leave me alone buddy's boys. calling up buddy buddy's message me um uh what's his name blakey's messaged me about four or five times said get to the swans chad mate Warner. we need you here chad warner's messaged me sent me a few <laughs> 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 Send me a few Snapchats. <laughs> yeah, just be good. Good. <laughs> trying to get me over the line. It's not going to work, Johnny. <laughs> oh, mate, that'll get me over the line. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work, Johnny. <laughs> we need some. We need something else, Drop mate. Box. I think. <laughs> Mate, you, that is a, an efficient way to send nudes. I know he didn't put them into the Dropbox. Wow. But if you were sending bulk nudes around, put them into a Dropbox, just send the link around. I've got a better way. Just airdrop them just to whoever's in the cafe. Oh, <laughs> oh that's gangster. We should do that one day. Get Gab. Yeah, we'll take, take photos pics of, of Gab. Gab when he's in the shower. It's a good idea. And then airdrop so it. So what's... Um, uh, off seasons kind of, I don't know you yep. got a couple more weeks of footy left mm. what's like content going to look like for you uh, in the off season because I know you're not one dimensional you're not just footy great question so um, well firstly I'll probably go, be going <laughs> I am a bit all footy I'll be going out playing anti-FL so I will oh, be doing true. that yep. uh, but as well like like it was so funny when I, I posted up like I sell a cricket program mm. and, um, and I <laughs> put up like a story of cricket program and say you know you guys can jump on the cricket program if you want and then I had a few replies saying like Bro, you've never played cricket in your life. Like, why do you sell cricket? Like, I have played cricket in my yeah. life. <laughs> like, I I used to play cricket a lot. So, um, I, I love my cricket. I absolutely froth. Um, just sitting sitting down and oh, watching a test match better. for five days and having a beer with the boys. So, <laughs> hello. You can answer it. Should I? <laughs> yeah, go on. Who is it? <laughs> hey, mate. How are you? Yeah, good. Have you put that stuff on the Google Drive yet? Good man. Who are we talking to? Do you want me editing or not? Yeah, yeah. Can you edit it for me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're on the pot. You're on the nine to five fitness podcast right now. Do you have anything to say? Oh my god, nine to five. I love nine to five. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's enough. <laughs> Ended the call. That was done. <laughs> All right, that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> We're on back. Air, back on airplane mode. Shit. Sorry, yeah, yeah. boys. Nah, I love uh, it. Yeah, sorry. Just had to answer that. Um. Yeah, so I guess, yeah, a bit of cricket stuff, a bit of soccer stuff, still doing a little bit of footy with the NTFL and, yeah, just keep it pumping along. I, obviously, I love my pre-season. It's one of my favourite things. I know you quite like pre-season as well. It's one yep. of the best things to do. So definitely we'll be uh, releasing some pre-season programs and hopefully pumping out some some running and some gym programs, I guess, over the summer. You're, you're big on pre-season as well? Yeah, huge. Um, that's kind of what got me <laughs> playing all right this year because i mm. i was able to have a, a good preseason plenty of lateral raises and gonna yeah exactly yeah. <laughs> no what did you guys talk shoulders. about when i was gone um literally set you sending dick pics pretty much yeah Me. actually yeah weird. i don't reckon i ever sent one well yeah. i've got one on my phone i just showed everybody yeah it's it's actually it's on the screen right now um <laughs> i've got a scenario for us yeah, yeah. lads which we're going to discuss so prime city's going to be moving potentially moving out of noosa and mm. let's say let's just theoretically say that he moves to melbourne yeah, yeah. and we all move in together mm. what's it looking like what's the house gonna be okay. what are we gonna do you want to start with this what's what's gonna happen we'll be a big fucking house to start off yeah big and, house yeah secondly i'll probably have the master bedroom <laughs> oh <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm not looking for the master. No, we'll I, just, share it, I just like staring. I just like staring. See if Gab, I get a reaction out of Gab. But it'll be two of the, popping right now. Two of the most high maintenance individuals living together with Louis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, me and yeah, yeah. Oh. No, shut up. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, pretty the caveman. Who can take longer to get ready? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, mate, as I always say, uh, yeah, rather arrive late than ugly. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you somehow manage both. So <laughs> where are we? Where where what suburb are we? Oh, no, be? I don't think we can say that. Well, but no, like, this is theoretically, yeah, like, like theoretically, is, I'd like to live in the city. Yeah, you know, like around something um, nice. <laughs> the theoretically, <laughs> like asking for a friend. Um, <laughs> yeah, phone a friend. Yeah, phone a friend. Yeah, theoretically, I'd like to live. You know, around. Um, Frankston or something like that. <laughs> Shut up. We've probably got a lot of fans there. <laughs> nah, I went down to Frankston once to play footy. He just got abused the whole time. Yeah. So like, <laughs> fuck Frankston. Yeah, so... Frank, yeah. <laughs> nah, it was, a, it was a good experience. Just fucking cold. Yeah. Um, yeah, probably... I don't know. Where do you think? Bendigo? Bendigo, yeah. <laughs> mm. Playing the Bendigo League. Nah, Actually, that I'm would be the most common league. thing I uh, get <laughs> asked is... Hey, uh, do you know Prime? Fuck off. <laughs> do you know Prime? No, Bro, I did, no I've done three time, podcasts with him. <laughs> dude, every time I'm out, they always go, oh, where's Prime? Where's Prime? And I'm like, bro, he lives in a different state. What do you mean, where's Prime? Bro, what about me? Yeah. <laughs> what about me? Anabolic. <laughs> yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Oh, you know the one I um I hate is when people go up to you one. for a photo mm -hmm. and um they're like- it Doesn't happen. Oh, can me. I get a- Yeah, it doesn't happen. <laughs> yes. Oh, can I get a photo? My mate loves you. Yeah. Do you, do you ever get that or do they not? Do they only say it to me? And it's like, well, um, do, do you not love me? Is it only your mate who loves me? I don't usually listen to what they say. I yeah. usually listen like, oh, can I get a photo? And then they, I everything just else say, you yeah. just, yeah. But when they, them. I always ask for their name, but like it's it's difficult to remember every single person's name. You didn't like, answer my question whatsoever. Yeah, I know. On purpose. Media trained. <laughs> Media trained. <laughs> you were smart. Yeah. Yeah, I knew exactly what Dead I was doing started. until you brought it up. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah, no, I don't get that ever. Yeah, fair. Everyone just, Everyone just you, wants mate. a photo with me, man. Yeah, <laughs> big dog. My mate loves you. Yeah. Well, what about you then? You. What about you, bro? To us last night. Yeah. Yeah, you said, "What about me?" Yeah. Oh, what, oh, so no, what I said, "Oh, so you it was don't one like the bartenders?" Us? I think. Yeah, I don't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah. Mm. What else? Yeah, well, um, NTF product plug. Keep a roof over our head. Yeah, true. Cool. We got to plug. So products. I am dressed like I'm from prison at the mm. moment. I call this the young boy fit. It's just missing an ankle bracelet, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, like a, what is it called? An ankle bracelet? I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Like a house arrest bracelet. House arrest thing. I think, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, obviously, the style of these tops is called the wife beater. Obviously, not good connotations. So, we're still thinking of a name for them. But let me tell you, this is like the nicest thing you can wear. Okay. And they're coming in perfect time for summer. Did you get, are you wearing extra small? Uh, no, this is uh, large, I think. Oh, yeah. okay. Because you don't actually have much muscle mass. So, you oh. probably need like something quite small. Yeah, we See, can make it For me, it's not custom. all about muscle mass. It's more about just like power to weight ratio. So, like I'm actually- Mate, that's still fuck. fuck. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I have that much power, bro. It's fucked. In what? Car phrases? Or <laughs> I can fucking jump over a car, bro. It's <laughs> fucked. I reckon I could, I'd have better hops than you, bro. <laughs> yeah. Who do you think? Yeah, if I had no legs. <laughs> <Mate>. <laughs> Anyway, maybe guys, both have, maybe it was an amputee, maybe <laughs> like, in a wheelchair. I, I want to continue that conversation, but we do have some really good merch down. We have these new yeah. beanies, which are so nice. I'm I'm really loving the beanie because I'm not a hat man, but I reckon I'm a beanie man, mm -hmm. and I just really like the look of like NTF trackies, NTF singlet, <laughs> and NTF beanie, you, and they're all on our website, and you can buy them if you want. You've come back from America looking like you've been to 2010. You and Jeff side. <laughs> Sup bras, Jeff Side here, and welcome back to March Madness. March Gotta have like Madness. a bit, little bit of a fringe. Um, someone said this is kind of like the Bryce Hall look, so yeah. I'm really vibing it at the moment. Yeah. Uh, if you, I think these singlets will sell out that quickly. Yeah. Oh, lock, and the, you've barely, well, there's barely any of them. So yeah. So go get them because you can wear them to the club. Wear a nice little chain with it. Wear Might some not jewelry. Get in, but yeah. Oh, depends who you depends are. Depends where you're going. Mm. Depends where you're going. Depends who you are. Mm. You know what they say. It's not what you know. It's who you are. Who you know. Oh. No. <laughs> Such a exactly, bro. Uh, so, if you want to get any of that, guys, you can use code podcast and get chat 10% off and buy up, lads. Mm. But anyway, I was going to say, like, who do you reckon wins in a running race between you and Prime? Oh, I'll, I'll flog him. Yeah. Bro, this girl that I've been hanging out with recently, um, <laughs> nothing to do with what we just said. <laughs> said that no, <laughs> it's his podcast. <laughs> said that she would beat me in a running race. Yeah, I said, oh, bitch. I love it when they say <laughs> that. I said, bitch, <laughs> I'll flog you. <laughs> no, no, no. It's like hundred meter race. You would have done twenty meters by the time I'm finished. <laughs> like, 
Mate, I don't care if it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 100. I'll flog you in any race I do. You are not anywhere near my athleticism no. or sprint Just speed. Fast switch I'm 99 <laughs> pace. You would have five pace compared to me. Yeah. There is no way you are beating I me. I said to a girl once, I did 14 reps of 100 kilos. And she goes, I probably couldn't even do one. <laughs> Oh, I remember that, bro. It's like no shit. You no couldn't shit. Do one. You could you couldn't do the bar, probably. <laughs> like, if we're gonna be dead honest and no like sexist stuff here, but like <laughs> if we're gonna be honest, you would probably not be able to do the bar. Like yeah, most girls most can't do the bar, which is training. fine. They'd have to do thirty, surely. <laughs> Hundred kilos, you would you would be dead. Like <laughs> I'm not die. kidding. If you didn't have a spotter, you'd be dead. I probably yeah. couldn't even do one. <laughs> What? Bro, are no you sure? Shit. Were you talking to like a freaking bodybuilder a or fridge. something? Were you talking to a fridge? <laughs> were you talking to Hannah Mouse? Were you talking to Hannah Mouse? <laughs> were you talking to Mouse? <laughs> we're all getting cancelled after this podcast. Yeah, right? that happens every time. Oh, they always no. chat well. That'll be oh, a- <laughs> the super villain. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one, though. That's a nice hoodie, mate. <laughs> When's mine coming down? <laughs> yeah. So get this right, oh, guys. So this Prime is all train- not true story. <laughs> <laughs> Prime Train messages the group chat and he goes, hey, lads, uh, what size slash color hoodie do you want? I'm pretty sure you said pink. I said yeah. like white. It's been like six weeks and we still don't have our hoodies. <laughs> no, and Gab goes to him before the podcast, mate, where's our jumpers? And he goes, oh, you guys didn't order it quick enough or nah, something. They like sold that. out. They sold out. <laughs> it's like, bro, you he he lit- offered. You literally messaged us saying, do you <laughs> want some? And mate, they're still not here. <laughs> mate, <laughs> they sold out. All right. <laughs> Well, you, so, you meant to put the stock on the website and take aside what you're giving away. I, I had fair. I only got like freaking 15 hoodies. So like, I gave them to like, I gave like some one to my sister, one to my dad, and then one to my mom. And then there was like, because I got like, I literally put clothes on my freaking family's back. Like, you got to remember, I'm literally the breadwinner in the family. Like, bro is a CEO no. of not answering the questions. Man, <laughs> <Grand> every question. <laughs> Um, nah, I promise. I, <laughs> I feel so bad as well because oh, you up. sent me the compound <laughs> joggers up. and the compound hoodie and I haven't returned the favor, but um, yeah, I, I promise that I will. Me. I promise I will. <laughs> Uh, yeah, if I move down to Melbourne, you have access to all of my. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Yeah. 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 Do you want us to pack it for you? Break as well? into the warehouse. <laughs> yeah, little do you know, <laughs> Louis, that you're going to be on. You're going to be minion. fucking packing all my merch for me. <laughs> well, I mean, and I'm like, gather in the freaking master bedroom. Take the selfies. <laughs> so you're going to flex harder. Doing Take your selfies. <laughs> Uh, oh Gab's on God. his tippy toes. You got to moisturize my back for me. Flip <laughs> 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 the anabolic ape. <laughs> Silver back. Oh, that's my favorite uh, name for you. How much do you reckon you make per video off YouTube? Per day? No, more than per you. Per video. In a, in a year. Well, can you not be a dickhead for like 10 seconds and answer how the question? Per video on yeah, YouTube. Yeah. Because YouTube monetization is actually an interesting topic. And okay. it, it, even just like e-commerce money, which I want to actually start making videos about. I think Same. everyone would really appreciate the transparency mm-hmm. about how much we actually make because it's a whole lot more uh, than I would make through a normal job, even yep. with my degrees now. Um, not to like say, oh, look how much money I got, but mm-hmm. I reckon it's pretty It's about helping people. other people. It's not, yeah. it's not about bragging about it. It's more about proving, oh, I can make this. We're you trying to get too. out of the hood. Yeah, you can too. Get, I'm out of the matrix, bro. So like- a video gets 50,000 views. Mm-hmm. It's not copyrighted. It's doing well. You're not swearing much. How much are you making, do you reckon? So, I, okay, let's go. So, the best one, which I did, was The Return, mm-hmm. which was my first one back from injury. Yeah, that, yeah. Had, that got like 58, 60,000 views, I think, like yeah, around yeah, that yeah. mark. Yep. So, I was got off that like $1,200, yeah. which is like pretty good for a, for a week, like, you know, you, you do that yeah. 52 times a year, you know, that's what, over minimum wage, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. On average, probably 600 to 700 probably per which video. Is which is good. about thir- Which is about around that 30K yeah. range. But also my videos keep, they, like remember the shelf YouTube, life. they, yeah, they yeah. compound, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. So my video at the start of the year that only had 30,000 has now got 50,000. Yeah, like they keep later. bumping they it up. They keep going up. So like this call for grammar one, I don't know what your best like 24 hour performance is for a video, but this one, I think will have 10,000 in 24 hours. Incredible. That could potentially get to 100,000. Yeah. Like, because it keeps getting it pushed out. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's just so different to TikTok. It is so different because it's funny when you go back and look at your old TikToks and they're still the exact same amount of 
Yeah. Like, well, like sometimes they do get a bit of a bump up, but mm. what do you, what's your best 24 hour performance for a video? Best 24 hour performance for a video was like 27 K. That's crazy. That was the return. The, the one where I got back from that's injury. Insane. And I played terribly. I think I had 10 touches. And it honestly goal. doesn't matter. It just matters what you <laughs> upload. Hey. <laughs> Which is shit. Cause 60,000 yes. people watched me had 10 touches and kick a goal. They're never going to watch it ever again. Oh, well, nah, I think I had a few more, but um, you know, I but like then you can just give them the excuses. Like it's rarely. not all about you. <laughs> Fucking rarely. I love under selling myself bro <laughs> you can give him the excuse you know it's about the game it's not about me you know it's about the team performance well it is about the team and we yeah. got the win on the day and and, and uh, at the end of the day it's not about me it's about the team and yeah. you know me there's no I in team but there is in prime so um, <laughs> yeah <laughs> so, so you, gotta you look like this on other people's podcasts uh, I'm just like this normally but I have so much more energy now because I'm actually waking up at 5am people could probably tell that they listen to the yeah. podcast like I that makes no sense <laughs> I'm laser focused because I Probably wake up 6pm yeah but I, my energy just goes throughout the day like I have no caffeine in a day I just really? yeah I've gone off caffeine actually not? zero caffeine well I'm addicted to caffeine yeah. oh, I'm bro so you got like just go off it for a week and see go off for a fucking I day. get headaches if I don't have caffeine yeah I bro, think those I, are like the withdrawals from yeah. the first few days but I've been off for uh, two weeks work out two days like I, I'm trying to get my energy from like carbohydrates so like a juice mm. or something in the morning and a piece of bread my rule is for the rest of the, for the whole day <laughs> Give me your money. <laughs> Give me money. Yeah. Put down the fork. <laughs> I listened to that podcast the other day. It's a prime train nutrition program. <laughs> Give me your money. And Don't eating. eat. That's 99 bucks. <laughs> Just eat spinach for seven days. So if you want to get no. shredded, stop eating, bro. My rule, it's not that difficult. My rule is just no caffeine within eight hours of bedtime because mm. of the half-life and all that. I think but you have like good. 400 meals before you go to 400 milligrams before you go uh, to Oh, not every session. Yeah. Yeah. Some sessions I'll have like a good amount. Bro, I've done like... I'm not saying for a second that I haven't done that. Like I obviously yeah. did that as well, but I feel so much better and clear-minded and focused. And I've got, I think I said to you, I've got more done in the last week than I've got done in the last month. Yeah. And but doing two workouts a day and you, like, yeah. Do you still have it before games? Because I remember you saying you had had caffeine before games. Not, not on the yeah. weekend. And I was the most energetic I've ever been. Yeah. I had like severe ADHD on the weekend. Like if anything, yelling. you could utilize it half time if mm. you wanted to. Like if you're playing yes. grand final or something, if you really wanted to like utilize your energy, you could yep. use, have half time to get that second kick. 100% because caffeine does mask the feeling of fatigue as well as, yeah, as we yeah. know. So it is a really good thing for endurance athletes. But at the end of the day, like I said before, what feels better for you mm. might be what feels different for other people. Like I know people that have pre-workout before a game and love it. And people always ask me, should I have pre-workout? Just mix and match with what works for you, how many milligrams you need. If you might do a half scoop, a full scoop, three quarters, whatever works for you is different to what works for other people and trial and error it to see what what is the best and what gets the best effect. Yeah. Last Friday, I was filming with my videographer and I th- had like probably two coffees and a monster or something like that which is probably 400 milligrams Mm -hmm. and i was like had the shakes and i was feeling really like nervous so that was like one of the first times that has happened to me and so i was like i feel i felt like i needed to eat something to like put it away stop it yeah yeah it went away i had like i literally just had like a quest bar in my bag which isn't the best thing to have during a session but Mm. i just had that and it kind of helped a little bit but it's always the monsters with you i remember that happened at a concert as well the white monster no good point Good point. I think monsters have something in it that because I can have a scoop of 500 milligrams and feel fine, like performance enhanced. I know that the Bang Energy drinks have something in them. I've got the name of it. It's something urethane or something yeah. that um, limits anxiety. I know really, th- yeah, and you can actually buy that supplement like off the shelves or from yeah. Amazon. So if you really like really high anxious, if then- you are feeling a little bit anxious, a good thing to do is just like have some cement or something. <laughs> <laughs> Mental health. No, nah, how about you just suck <laughs> it up, mate? Just harden the fuck up, bro. If you're feeling fucking bro, anxious, depression doesn't if exist. Dude, if you're feeling anxious, harden the fuck up and have some cement, bro. Yeah, <laughs> just get up with it. Just have some cement, bro. <laughs> it's cancelled. <laughs> fuck, instead of a quest bar, just oh, have some cement. Just toughen up. I reckon oh, my favourite. It's a 3D energy drink. So, yeah, so they're good. good. Um, I see just, them in your fridge, yeah. Have, have you tried the prime hydration drinks? No, but I really do want to. I, I actually, <laughs> I hate admitting this, but I messaged them to try and get like a collab, but didn't read it. No yeah. response. <laughs> yeah. Shut up. I man. tried them in America <laughs> and they're, they're, they're coming. Our sponsors are getting them very yeah. soon and they're gonna we're going to be doing a giveaway with them. Uh, but I tried them in America. They are amazing, bro. Yeah, Zero really. calorie. All, I don't know what specific electrolytes they got in it, but it tastes so good. Really? Like, like it in, tastes insane. Because obviously we've got like Gatorade, no sugar and Powerade, no sugar. Yeah. This shit's on it. Like, I'm not going to lie. It's insane. Wow. Yeah. 
That's incredible. Um, we need to do our sponsors plug. Yeah, and true. Just before we do that, so yesterday you were doing this thing for Tomorrow Skincare, who we're all sponsored by, and we mm-hmm. love them very much. We'll get into their products in a second. Uh, but you like did the giveaway thing? Yeah, what, what so I did there? a giveaway with uh, to do, to win a workout and a bit of a coffee lunch mm-hmm. type vibe with with myself, which was amazing. We had over a thousand people get involved in it, which was just crazy. And um, yeah, we found a guy that won it. Uh, he lived in Tasmania, so we had to fly him up from Tassie. I obviously flew down from Queensland. We met in Melbourne. Him and his mate, yeah. Him and his mate, yeah. So uh, had a had a workout at the Sumo Strength Gym and then went and had some Nandos after. They don't have Nandos in Tasmania. Mm, interesting. Wow. And yeah. no grilled. Yeah, there's not much in Tassie, to be honest. But yeah. so Prime calls me, he goes, like he called you as well, but Gab was working, so he couldn't get up. And he Prime calls me, he goes, yeah, come out and like These say boys want to meet you. To, yeah, speak to tomorrow's skincare owner and stuff. So I'd go out and then he's like, <laughs> oh yeah, we'll just do the um, like the video outro. <laughs> and I was just standing there. And so we all line up for the fucking outro, which I just uh, had nothing to do with. Next minute, there are cameras like, recording. I'm standing like next to one of the tall lads from Tassie and I, I'm helping out with the outro. And it was like the most awkward bloody. Yeah. That's, Look, I said, oi, I, surely, no. mate, you make content. And why is that such a <laughs> no? Because I said, oi, everybody, um, yeah, come in. And then Louis just waddled his way over, and I, I didn't. Want- <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, I'm literally. Joking. No, nah, I'm joking. I didn't care. I think it was good that you came. I, I couldn't care less. Yeah, anyway, but yeah, I maybe like to- if you start making YouTube videos, that'll just be. No, sorry, th- it wasn't awkward that part. It was just the fact that I was randomly put in the video. Like I, I had nothing. To- anyway, don't. I don't yeah, think but- that's a big deal. No, though. but like, but at the end of the day, bro, you're you're getting a bit of clout for free. Like, yeah, awesome. I don't know. It would go on. It would go on all types of different channels. So you get people get to see that button and blonde hair. Should, should I go bloody blonde next year? Yeah, you should. Two yeah. pumps of platinum blonde in my camera. I think the <laughs> best one is when it's like the bottom is dark and the top is platinum. So it's top like deck. nicely faded. Yeah, literally top, top deck. deck. Mm. Um, yeah, I just really like the color at the moment I'm rocking with. Tomorrow Skincare. Mm. Yeah. The products are elite. Mate, they're so You've good. Been using them I lots. use them all all the time, every day, almost twice a day. I try to use them after every workout. Try and yeah, have a every shower. Every time I have a shower, I use Bro, them. Bro, it's freakishly good. I know, I don't know what your favorite one is, but my favorite one's the toner. Bro, you just copied me. Because <laughs> no, you know my favorite I've said toner. toner. I said toner the whole time. You've always been like a serum or moisturizer guy. Yeah, the serum. I don't know what the serum does, to be honest, but. Uh, he explained it to me very deeply yesterday. Yeah, it like closes yeah. up your pores. And no, then, that's what the toner does. No, bro. They all do. They all help. And <laughs> no, the toner closes up your pores. with each other. No, oh, I forgot what he said with the... With the dude, he doesn't remember you know. much, to be honest. I don't remember much. There was a lot going on. <laughs> if, <laughs> I broke my nose five times. If I... <laughs> like, most important to least important out of... The, out of the thing i reckon Talk to me. obviously like cleanser is super essential to get the bacteria the off initially cleanser, yeah probably most important is then toner and moisturizer but i feel like those are the three that are like mm-hmm. you can't have one without the other the serum i don't know what it does but like it's just in the process but it the, smells good though the serum mm. yeah but like yeah, do, those yeah. three are like lock like you can't yeah ha- like you can't miss out on one of those mm-hmm uh but like you may as well just get all four at that point but i guess sometimes i have just gone with the um just the cleanser and just the moisturizer yeah I sometimes i've missed to. yeah sometimes i've missed and the i swear my skin's serum. not as good when i just yeah do i agree two. with that but sometimes i'm just time i just like quick go yeah, yeah, and yeah. i don't want to have the like i've got to quickly get out the door so i don't have like the yeah. wetness of the yeah, toner yeah, yeah. and the serum kind of because then sometimes you get like, yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I just do moisturizer and, and cleanser and then just get out of the house. But yeah, if you do want to pick up any of that stuff, you can use code NTF or you can use code Prime. Uh, no, nah, just NTF. It's your no, 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 no. What, what is your code yeah, Prime? It's Prime? Yeah, Whoever you guys like more, you can do whatever. That's um, a bad thing to say because everyone will use Prime. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure our code destroys yours. So. Yeah. 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 Let's talk. So, so let's try let's to talk move the facts. I don't, yeah. I don't. <laughs> I've Look, I've got the numbers here, mate. <laughs> and, uh, Let's pull the numbers up, Raul. Hello. <laughs> Prime train Hello. cup, Lord. I'm calling oh, yeah, Raul. Yeah. <laughs> I'm calling Raul. Uh, next up, we have Manscaped, Manscaped. Who are still on board. If you want to buy anything, you should go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, pretty much. No, nah, I mean, their products are just good. It wasn't Prime sponsored by Manscaped at some point. Yeah, part. what happened there? Yeah, I was because I was doing a podcast and so then I don't really do the podcast anymore. So yeah. I'm not really sponsored by Prime it. Couldn't finish it. But yeah. I don't know. I got all the lawnmower 4.5, and the gel toner skin. I've got, I use my ball toner every day and yeah. my ball deodorant. Great so nuts. <laughs> Ooh, that smells so good. Damn, she lifts that up. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> <a bit> of- <laughs> oh, God. 
Gobble, <laughs> gobble. Oh, yeah, so that's I what's... couldn't stop laughing last time when you guys were doing that. <laughs> Three private school kids start a podcast. It's just not needed. He <laughs> kept loves it. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to pick anything up from Manscaped, use code NTF. I think code Prime's out there. Cancel that, sack that because yeah, they realised okay, the worst they return on the worst. <laughs> yeah, no, they realised I was no good because yeah, yeah that's right. ROI. That's how I promote products. I just start talking about ROI in the red. Get me some off. You're not Get making off. me any money. <laughs> I'm <laughs> losing money. Oh, can we have it for one more week? <laughs> Get him off! Get him off! Get him off! He's ruining the whole bread. Minton! Get him off! Minton! Get him off! Rocket! Rocket! We can't get We can't go to Rocket! Rocket! Look at him! <laughs> Get him off! <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, fantastic. So you just oh, go NTF. I've got a literal stitch now. <laughs> <laughs> workout yeah. two, laughing with NTF boys. Yeah, that's <laughs> that's my matters. second workout for today, boys. <laughs> oh my God. Elite work. Uh, well, <laughs> yeah, far out. Anything else? Uh, you ever smoked weed in California? Yeah, no, in... Is, no, Vegas is in Nevada, so no. No. But, <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> So like, have I? So, <laughs> so, where's legal? <laughs> shit. Wait. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> shit, I don't know. But yeah, no, I did. And I got, we were talking about it the other day. I got absolutely yeah. rocket science by it. Yeah. yeah. I was in a different planet. I had it once in Amsterdam and it does not mix with my head at you all. You yeah. see, yeah. I, get a bit I was saying I really like it. Like when I did do it in California, did it like twice over there, one once in Miami, but they have this weird version that's legal and it didn't hit at all. Uh, it was it's a waste no of time, THC, actually. I think. Mm. Yeah, it's it was just, some it's bullshit. It's not. It was just grass. <laughs> <laughs> but I smoked. I smoked yeah, it in bucks for some grass. Cali, and bro, I felt so creative. Like I felt so. Did so you do good. anything? Where you said that you were super creative and you were writing down stuff. Can I was you, so creative. Like it opened up my mind. I was just writing down all these ideas on my iPhone. Can you tell notes. us any of the ideas? That well, you, have you see, or? I can't get in that zone. But I made like a TikTok and it did really well. Oh, and really? I was just like. It was sick, bro. But like, I feel like you, it's not something you want to like, you don't want to have to be doing stuff. Like you don't have to be like, oh, I got to drive home now or something. Cause then you'll probably just die, bro. Yes. And it's, I think it's illegal over there to drive high. It's stupid to do anyway. Like you just put it. But like, I was just sitting on my balcony doing like editing some content and blazing up and bro it was so, so good. It's and an I had like my Popeyes one. there, smashed it down. You said like, I oh, get a little bit anxious on it. Yeah. I, I, I get schizophrenic. I, yeah. I hear, mate, I can't think straight. I almost I called the weird. ambulance the first time yeah, I did yeah, it so because I got like real high heart rate and I was like, oh shit. Yeah. I got real paranoid. Do you reckon it's because like you did too person, much? Yeah, yeah. Well, for the first time, I just, I just yeah, way overdid myself. And I think that like, if you are ever going to experiment with that type of stuff, just make sure like, luckily I had mates that had done it before with me. They were like, bro, like chill out. Like it's yeah, fine, yeah. you know? So like make sure you're in a safe sort of spot when you do do it because that your mates can definitely chill you out a lot. Cause I literally yeah. had like a quarter of a blunt and I was, that was me done. Cause mm. I think you want it, it's something you want to do slow just to see how you react to it. Yeah. Cause like, I don't know all about the strains. There are some nerds out there who can tell you Sativa everything. and Indica. Yeah, yeah. But there's all these it's names like- Sativa's like, like the upper Indica's like- Yeah, but there's different slow. blends like Girl Scout, Cookie and X1456 <laughs> and- That's just in America. <laughs> literally, bro. Um, yeah, call it after guns. <laughs> school but like some of it will absolutely <laughs> rock you. Some of it you need more of. Of, like some of yeah. them they have different effects and whatnot i remember going to like the dispensary there not knowing anything about it. i'm like he's like oh what do you want i'm like i don't know bro you tell me and yeah. he's like oh what do you want to feel i'm like i don't know <laughs> and he just bro, how are they different like yeah i guess there's there's so many strains because how they grow it and things. stuff i think yeah but yeah how they just, what fertilizer they use and it's like a flower isn't it? like you got just got different flowers so yeah like, that's yeah exactly how kind of, like you've got and different i think types what's affected um is like if it's natural light or like under the leds yes, synthetic do, light. do you yeah, think synthetic. weed should be legalized in australia <sighs> yeah i reckon it should be <sighs> no honestly i'm going to be a little bit controversial here and say i don't think it should be legalized for the exact reason that every time or every person I've hung out with that's a stoner is an absolute yeah, yeah. freaking no drive, 
yeah, no aspirations true. in their life and just like throwing their life away and it makes me so sad and so it's like a great point i'm yeah. like bro you're throwing your life away for like this fake feeling of like drugs yeah it's good if you can control it like you yeah. might be able to some people have strong minds some people don't so i uh, i would say personally no that's a great point actually um that's like the vapes like i know they're not yeah. necessarily legal but like you know all every kid's got one at the moment yeah it's glued to their hand there's no discipline there. and it's there's no discipline so it's yeah it's a you've got to be disciplined with yourself and it's so hard to be disciplined with yourself because like especially once you move out of school you're like 18 19 your parents are telling <coughs> you like what to do your whole life and then you're like oh i just want to do whatever the hell i want but like you still have to have some sort of goal and aspirations in your life. And if you like throwing that away, they'll have some like fake fun with like alcohol, drugs. Like, yeah, it's good to have a balance. But then when you go over the top, it just gets a little bit like, come on, mate. Like you got to have some sort of aspirational goal, what you want to do in your life. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm with you on that. I can definitely understand that. But like LA, it was legal and just this every street just stunk like weed it's got the most potent smell is that what you want in australia though do you want no i'm saying oh like, you're that's, saying it's no. ridiculous mm. like i doubt australia would ever turn into that mm. but like because like when when you're in australia and you smell weed it's like shit like someone's doing some yeah. mischievous stuff yeah here. and LA, hit the cameras quickly yeah right. la just smelled like that the entire time yeah that's an interesting one because yeah i remember when i was at the beach the other day there was like someone smoking weed i was like oh that's so like yeah oh wow like i can't believe someone's smoking weed I, just I think here. it smells like really nice as the herb but yeah not like i don't think it smells that good when it's like lit up yep yeah no nah, i don't know some people yeah some people some people love it and like i said i did i've hung around with some stoners in my life and been like what are you guys gonna do like yeah, when you get older <laughs> but what about joe rogan he smokes every night or something i feel like he's already made it though you know yeah, yeah. Yeah, he probably has already and he's, made he's it. pulled back because he was going really hard on it for a bit there. And then mm. he said, you know what? Actually, I was probably misspreading information because it kills your drive. Are yeah. you guys ever nervous about that? Because sometimes I say to do something online and then I yeah. think like two or three weeks later, oh, shit. Now I've changed. Yeah. I've progressed and I shouldn't have said that. Like I said, because I used to say, oh, you know, I get up every day and have my pre-workout. And then like the last two weeks I've been like, you don't really need it. But like. I yeah. think that's the beauty of having a podcast is we're updating every week. Mm. So it's like, you know, what I was doing three weeks ago is different to what I'm doing this week. Yeah. And it's like a, a, a constant evolution. But if you're doing short form consistently, it's hard to like update people. And and I feel like what works best is when you like really like can you've got a lot of conviction in mm. your word yep. and in the video. I don't think that's like that significant. That's just a simple lifestyle thing. You're not doing at that current point in time. So mm. I don't think anyone can slag you off for doing that. Yeah. I don't know. I just wonder if you guys ever get worried about being too controversial or too one-sided and then think, oh, I've got to pull myself back on that. I actually don't believe that fully. Yeah. Mm. Probably, yeah. Probably just like controversial topics. Like we just uploaded at the time of this podcast. So Andrew about, like, Tate. Andrew Tate. Yeah, that. And it's like, I know there's people like from my school and stuff. They'll just see that like our honest thoughts on Andrew Tate and just like instantly cancel me. You yeah. Know, you know. I, um, did, has the response been big on that so no far? i checked no, the like, comments while i went to the toilet and i think there was like one guy who had a fair enough point who was saying like oh like you guys saying like he's got like good stuff about him is supporting his content something like, which i can completely understand but mm. i honestly feel like that wasn't the the vibe of the video we posted like we pretty clearly said his content is disgusting but like there is a little glimmer in there that like the stuff it, advice he does provide for men to improve their life mm. is valuable and like fair enough if you want to hate on us for like saying there's anything that's good about it we're not saying he's redeemed himself whatsoever but like we're trying to and people saying like oh you're sitting on the fence it's like no we're actually just exploring both sides we're not mm. just telling you what's right we're just like providing both sides of the argument 100 percent. and you got it yeah obviously you got to be very careful what you say about it because it's such a controversial topic and everyone's so quick to say oh my god yeah. Oh, yeah you like him i hate you Canceled, people yeah. are very strong with that and it's so funny how device like how divisive he's been like even in my family my sister's like i hate him yeah. so much mm. and and i'm like oh you know he's got some good points like he's got a lot of bad points but he's got some good ones and she's like no yeah he's a, he's a well, misogynistic an pig yeah exactly and i think a lot of his stuff really resonates with young men because yeah. i think a lot of people a lot of young men feel like a little bit hard done by especially bro they're fucking you know, lost some some movements where it's like all men are the issue and and i'm mm. not saying they're not I, it is all uh, about like, well i'm not saying all men are, all men are definitely not the issue yeah like, but I, it's, a, it's, it's, it's that's the, not the point that's it's not like the point. Yeah. it's like 
it, it's all men's responsibility. Exactly. It's not like yes. not. It's not saying all men are rapists. It's, yes. it's saying all men's responsibility, res- like yeah. to make sure exactly. it doesn't happen. So, but that can be perceived as like everyone's an issue. Anyway, and, and like then fourteen-year-olds are an issue. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, what's your, um, if you don't mind me asking, general thoughts on Andrew Tate? I think it's Mate, pretty similar to ours. Yeah, like like the exact same sort of thing. Like uh, the first sort of stuff that I saw of him, I actually really liked him. Um, so the first stuff that I saw was very motivational. Um, talking about, you know, going to the gym and like making it from nothing, which I'm big on, you know, like far out, grind for your life. And then kind of the further deeper that I started to like read into what he said about like women and that sort of stuff, I was mm. a bit on the fence. So like for anyone that is, you know, a younger uh, a younger person and are looking for a role model, he's not a role model. Like he's not someone that you want. Yeah, if you have a Bugatti, congratulations. Like that doesn't mm. mean that, that you know, if you're making money, it doesn't necessarily mean you're doing it legally I, or in the right way. I can definitely understand like a lot of the female absolute she hatred towards him. But in my opinion, and I'm not saying like it's like it, it excuses him, but he's playing a character and he wants you to get angry at yeah, him because got, that's what's yeah. going to get him more views. So uh-huh. like, obviously it's not cool what he's saying. It's not on, it's not acceptable. But mm. like he, I think he's like, that's not what he actually thinks. No, yeah, 100%. Like he's playing a character to piss people off. So like, He's going to piss off this many people, but he's going to get this many people on his side. And like- Bro, he's got like four, 4 million followers. Yeah. Like, like like he's got enough support out there. You know, he might piss off 100 million. Because the four. fact of the matter is you posting like hate content and trying to tear him down is still getting his name out there. Yeah. So you're giving us shit for supposedly supporting his content. You guys are probably doing even worse by like- Commenting. Literally, because a negative story spreads so much faster than a positive one. And mm-hmm. like that one, like that slideshow of- Yeah. And so I'm not saw that the Andrew Tate thing. Stupid, <laughs> bro, get the fuck off my feed. Like, but that, like, but like, that's one side of the story. Like, I don't fucking want to see that shit on everyone's story. Like, bro, like you're fucking doing the complete thing that, that he wants true. you to do. That is true. You idiots. Yeah. You're literally trying to cancel him by posting more of him, getting his name more out there. I don't now, know what the solution knows- is though. Like. Obviously, that is getting his name out there, and the points are so valid. What we're actually on it, yes. But they're just spreading his name more. And I checked to see because I thought, shit, this could be the end of him. He's going to drop a million followers. Bro went up like five hundred k in three <laughs> days from that. You idiots! You're doing him a favor. It's the same thing when I used to say, "Don't do bench press, don't do squat." Obviously, do bench press and squat. But I get all these comments. Wee, 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 yeah, yeah. You Bro, idiots! I'm it. fishing you. Comment I'm arguments. Throwing the line, and you're. <laughs> the bait, man. <laughs> Taking the. <laughs> What's our fishes eat? Eating it up. Eating it up. Fish. Ooh, yeah. Fish. That's how. Yeah. Anyway, hopefully there's no girls listening to this because um they definitely hate us. After no, what just I said. Uh, bro, I just like it's funny because. Some some girls are very reasonable and kind of can see both ways, and some just like <laughs> some just like let me know when you think. I like. hate him, but like I don't know. You just have to see it from a male's perspective sometimes, like half of it. But the other, like we're not saying we agree with everything he says far out. I don't think anyone does, but yeah, like oh, there'd be some people who are just extremists and being like, "Fuck women," like yeah, just like sados, but yeah, fuck women. No, fuck off. Mate. <laughs> Shut saying, up. Fuck like, no, there'd be extremist Andrew oh. Tate supporters who were like, yeah, fuck women. Oh, right. You know, I like, thought women- you were saying that. I was like, what are you saying, bro? <laughs> no. No, I was like, I was so confused. Yeah, no, like, there, yeah, there's a lot of people that are out there that are, but yeah. I don't know. Anyway, so, I got to head off. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a weird. It's, you guys yeah, can keep talking. We, now no, we did well. That'll yeah, we us. did well. Yeah. Good stuff, team. Thanks so much for listening. Good night. Uh, Love like, you. Comment, subscribe, subscribe and all that. Bye-bye.